I don't understand. Why are we such a deceived generation? Oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? All these rituals, antics, and theatrics in the church in the name of deliverance and power and desperation and God can operate and do things differently in any way. We, in the name of all those things, we remain bewitched to soothsayers, to witches and warlocks. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. I seen a video of Maddie Nottage. Just watch this. I ain't going to talk too much. Because some of y'all have no biblical context, no, no, no biblical foundation. You don't know biblical protocol when it comes to deliverance, healing. You're seeing strange things take place that are not doctrine within the word of God. Strange things takes place, take place for boasting and all this craziness just watch this what do you need jesus to do for you now total 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 so what do you need god to do for you right now total totally delivered and look at that shoe right there what is that shoe doing there what is that shoe doing there so she's making Maddie Nottage, she's Maddie's Nottage is making her put her foot in her shoe. So that's Maddie Nottage's shoe. So she wants to be fully delivered. So she's saying, Maddie Nottage is saying, the way you're going to be fully delivered is if you put your foot in my shoe. This is full blown idolatry. And you already see the colors. Maddie loves wearing, loves wearing the white and the red. Those, I'm telling you, that is. That is the type of witchcraft, cult, obsession of colors. When you see your leader always wearing red, always wearing white, or the combination, the combination of white and red, run. Run. Always red. And I'm telling you, because they believe it has something to do with spiritual. They believe it's something spiritual. Get out of there. Get out of there. The moment they make coloring spiritual and you're always seeing them red and white, red and white, red and white, Everything is red and right. Run away. Look at this. First of all, I believe, number one, that this is fake. But I can also, a part of me is like, mm, this can be actually real because it's witchcraft. It's demonic. So you can manifest because that's coming off Maddie's foot. And we know Maddie's operating sorcery. So... She could be manifesting. Um, demons could be entering her and the demons manifesting because what's taking place right now, right? So. <laughs> so, so you're telling me it's as simple as that grabbing your shoe and saying here you go instead of laying your hands on someone i know you may think this is pretty big it's size 14 i know but it's like you're grabbing your shoe and you're like mm, you want deliverance total freedom okay here you go okay here you go and you're trying you, you it's like you you, you you put the you put the shoe on the ground and you you, you try to put it on you th this right here is deception and these people are known to be mega big deliverance ministers. You understand me? Maddie Nottage has like 244,000 followers on YouTube. Yeah, 244,000. With false prophets, um, a lot of it's witchcraft and a lot of it is also like staged, all right? They love rituals, they love their colors, they love their, they love their fruits. And this is what leads people to worship like, it leads people to worship like, Items. This is why people are worshiping shoes, worshiping 
handkerchiefs, worshiping the man of God's anointing oil, the woman of God's scarf, whatever. And look at the title, shocking, shocking. Prophet gives shoes to woman in wheelchair two years. So she puts on the woman's shoes to impart an anointing in the woman's shoes. And you guys believe this. And some of you women in the comments are gonna be like, uh, <laughs> touch not my anointed, the judgment of God has come upon you. This is deep, you don't know spiritual things. You dang right. I don't know this type of spiritual thing because it ain't biblical. This is witchcraft. You right? You dang right. This is craziness. It's not biblical. Pro Can we follow biblical protocol for the New Testament for deliverance? All this stuff in the, in the, in the Old, Te Old Testament is not biblical protocol for healing or deliverance. It's not. Jesus paved the way. Jesus showed us the way. The prophet has delivered me, and I had the opportunity to walk in her shoes. This is unbelievable. I had the opportunity to walk in the prophetess shoes and she walked in my shoes and I was delivered. Two hundred and forty four thousand followers Maddie Narge has. And these are the things that are taking place. I brought people through deliverance from Maddie Nottage's hand, from her spirits and the stuff she sells on her website. I brought people through deliverance from Maddie Nottage's witchcraft. I brought, it, I brought people through deliverance, 1,000% deliverance, crazy manifestations from the stuff that she promotes and the spirit she operates under. <laughs> 